Hello YouTube. So I'm doing a cephalotis fully clearis. Um root cutting and leaf cutting six months update. So this is how they look like currently. I haven't done a video for a while because I was at China for vacation. So now I'm back and these are my cephalotis. Nice picture coming along there, there. This is a nice plant. This is also one of my slightly bigger little cephalotis. There is one, two, three, four. There's like six in there of little seed seedlings. Well, they were grown from leaf cuttings. I'll just give it a rotation. Get better shots. Um, I'll just sort of review how I got these plants to strike. So I sort of just got my sort of like leaf and I just sort of just tugged it downwards. And after that, I just applied some rooting hormone and just put in very wet peat. And after a couple months, I saw roots. After around one month, I saw root. And after three months, they started having small shoots coming out. And after another three more months of pog progress, we get ourselves a little plant. Cephalotis plant. This is just a typical. And after around three more months, if my conditions are right, I should be expecting some adult pictures. That's going to be cool. I think this one will actually get the adult pictures first because I've grown cephalotis before and from the looks of this crown, it looks more mature than these. this crown, which is looks like a seal, looks like a juvenile crown. Mature crowns sort of have like a... that thing, which sort of looks similar. All of these are root cuttings, which is even more recent. And... Here's the thing, root cuttings is always faster than leaf cutting. That that's the case for me. So all of these are leaf cutting as well. Yeah, this is just a quick update on my cephalotis cuttings. And yeah, pretty cute. And we'll see you on the next videos. Be sure to subscribe and if you like more of my content, give a like and we'll see you on the next video.